Hello everybody! Thank you for watching our adventure in Europe, land and sea. It is the fourth video and we are still on the land and we are taking one train over the Alp. Is Gotthard Panorama Express really great? You will see it today. The railway system in Switzerland has a number of special trips. Uh, most of them day-long trips by train that are special panoramic trains. And one of them that Zena and I took was the Goddard Pass panoramic train, uh, which went over the Alps down to Lugano in the very southern Italian part of Switzerland. Um, and on the way down, on the south, you take a a route uh, doesn't involve so many tunnels and it's over the mountains. On the way back you go through the Goddard Pass tunnel itself which is uh, like a 50 something kilometer long tunnel. It's out the panoramic view train. doing here. Here you, you can open windows and take pictures or videos so not through the glass. It's very convenient but it's a very strange train looks like old train. The train has three first class cars like this and two second class cars like I showed you already where you can go and walk around and open windows and take pictures and, vi and videos. Like I said already that it is very convenient uh, for people who want to do it. You can take from Lucerne, you should take a boat on the Lake Lucerne if you never did it before. And then uh, you leave the boat and take this panoramic train. But because you know we went on the boat on the lake already, you saw that video. We decided to take a train to the train station where the panoramic uh, train um, waits for us. Whole way from Lucerne uh, to the to Lugana is 182 kilometers and uh, if you combine the boat and the tra panoramic train together it takes approximately five and a half hours it's a long long uh, way but uh, it is beautiful you can see I think I don't know, of course. I think especially it could be beautiful in the winter, at least for me. But we heard so many wonderful things about this train, about um, the sceneries. So we decided to take it and the train goes across the Alps. You can see it is beautiful.
the train has the prepaid pictures of uh, the train of the view from the train you can sign and address to somebody and they will send it for free so we had five cards we sent two cards to the united states i sent and i sent three cards to my uh, grandson to russia i was curious is he going to get it and you know he got it i think three and a half weeks later this means from switzerland to moscow it took three and a half weeks but he got it the man who lives in this house greets the panoramic train with a country flag every time when the train passes his house this is what we were told When we got off the Goddard Panorama train at Lugano in extreme southern Switzerland, the Italian part of Switzerland, we were surprised to see a really beautiful hilly city. We immediately had basically a choice to make uh, between three alternatives. We could get back on the train in literally about 10 or 15 minutes and take the train northward to get us back to our hotel in Lucerne or second choice we could stay for I think it was about three hours not really enough time to see very much of this town and then get a train back to Lucerne which would get us back to our hotel very late in the evening or third we could waste our hotel room and spend a night in Lugano and waste the room in Lucerne and have to get a hotel in Lugano well, we opted for choice number one which means we only had about 10 or 15 minutes in this beautiful city it was ridiculous we had no time at all to enjoy it or see it we only had time to go down some really steep steps where we decided that's all the time we had and we went straight back up and got on the train and headed north on the way back you don't go over the Alps so much as you go under them under the Goddard Pass tunnel through the Goddard Pass tunnel which is a 57 kilometer tunnel um, that is kind of a engineering marvel but isn't very much to see unless you like seeing dark holes and tunnels um, at any rate these panoramic trains and the goddard pass panoramic train is one of them uh, are included in the swiss railroad pass that we bought except that you have to have a reservation fee you have to pay a reservation fee which is not included as part of the pass uh, the reservation fee i think maybe was about 30 us dollars per person or something of that sort but the tickets would have been 10 times more than that had we not had um, the swiss rail pass that we had for a few minutes you can see the pictures of on the walls of this tunnel it is like a museum of the construction of this particular tunnel uh, i can't uh, really comment on the other panoramic trains because we didn't really take others 
but I can comment on this one, and I thought that at least at the time of year that we took it, it was a little bit overrated. Granted that the scenery is very spectacular, but the scenery everywhere in Switzerland is spectacular. And this day-long trip was not really more spectacular than anywhere else. And um, I'm not sure that it really would have been worth the money had you had to pay full freight for the ticket. But at any rate, I'm glad we went. It was a good experience, like all the experiences in Switzerland, and uh, it was something uh, worth doing and worth seeing. One day from Luzerne, we took a train to Interlaken Ost town. It was an interesting train too. Uh, very beautiful sceneries, you can see. very much and I will tell you why I love it in our next video so don't miss it see you very very soon don't forget to subscribe and I hope you like our videos as usual see you soon